is Shauna with tips from a PT.com and today I'm going to go over the three balance strategies. These three balance strategies are what help us defy gravity when we're standing and walking so that we do not fall. The first balance strategy starts at the ground with our ankles. Our ankles move in a circle. That helps us to keep our balance both going up a ramp, down a ramp, or when we're walking on uneven ground. If our ankles are weak, or if our ankles don't have enough motion in them because we've had surgery, or they're tight and stiff, we rely on the second balance strategy, the hips. The hips, just like our ankles, move in a circle. So our hips take up any extra force from losing our balance that our ankles were not able to compensate for. Our hips do side to side as well as forward and backward to keep us up against gravity. But just like our ankles, if our hips are weak or we do not have the motion in our hips because we've had surgery or arthritis in them, we have only one strategy left and that is the stepping strategy. The stepping strategy is used only and is only effective if we're strong and if we can do it fast. Losing our balance is a fast activity. So in order for the stepping strategy to actually work, it has to be fast and it has to be forceful. To make our balance strategy, especially my ankles, stronger, I need to do the activities that make them strong. So with each of my patients, I make them do heel ups, toe ups, as well as one of two things, either cross step or simply side step. Why do I have my patients do cross step? Normally, when we try and make a turn, we cross and pivot around, cross and pivot around. We do not look like a robot when we walk or make a turn. The only time I make sure my patients pick up their feet and make a turn such as this is if they've had a hip surgery, a total replacement of the hip joint because they are not able to cross their joints. So, when I'm doing my strengthening exercises with my patients, I make sure to do it without any hands. Why do I make them do them without any hands? Because if as soon as somebody grabs onto a walker or onto a countertop, they're using the countertop or the walker to balance themselves. Our ankles are not doing the job. So I make them do heel ups, I make them do toe ups, I make them do side stepping, or even cross, turn, cross, turn without their hands so that all of the energy and all of the strength comes from the ankles. If you have any questions or if you need to leave a comment for me, please feel free to do so below. Until then, be safe. And this is Shauna again with tips from a PT.com.